Hey, what's going on? Thanks for checking out this video. I really appreciate you stopping by. Uh, in this video, um, I explored my homeland of Jamaica, my hometown of Charlestown, uh, Portland. Uh, it was uh, kind of like significant for me because I actually brought my son, uh, who was 12 years old, to see where I grew up and uh, how life was like, you know, when I was growing up met my friends. Uh, the first part of the video uh, started out with, you know, just kind of like hanging out with my friends and I went to the house I grew up in, uh, in Charlestown, Jamaica, uh, which is located, like I said, uh, in Portland, right outside of Buff Bay on the east side of the island. Uh, after that, we went to look at the church I went to every Sunday and, look, and we went to go explore the the school that I went to uh, in kindergarten, elementary in Jamaica, we call it the uh, primary school. So that was pretty cool, that was pretty significant. Uh, from there, we went to the uh, Maroon Museum. Um, for, uh, for those of you who don't know who, who, what a Maroon is, um, you know, in the 14 and 1600s, they're basically uh, slaves that freed themselves. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, in, in, in the States, you know, they had the Underground Railroad where, where slaves um, escaped and freed themselves. Um, in the 1400s, uh, the Spanish, Christopher Columbus included, discovered uh, Jamaica and they brought over uh, African slaves uh, later on with them. And um, uh, their job as uh, the African slaves was to work on the sugarcane field. Like in America, they worked on the cotton uh, cotton fields. Uh, in Jamaica, the big profit machine was the sugarcane. So sugarcane was huge profits uh, for the Spaniards, so they exploited uh, the African slaves uh, with that. Uh, so that went on, and then the slaves that actually escaped were, con were called the Maroons. They escaped to the hard-to-reach places like the uh, the Blue Mountain area, the mountainous area that was very hard to get to, and they since we're called the Maroons. Uh, then in the 1700s, uh, the British um, invaded Jamaica. They took over the slave trade. I believe in uh, 1838, uh, slavery was uh, abolished by the British. But anyways, we're gonna check out the uh, Maroon Museum in Charlestown. And then we're gonna finish up the video with um, I was walking down to the beautiful uh, Buff Bay River and just having fun and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Appreciate it. Nobody, yo, nobody now touch me in the country because me, I'm a crow. You see it? You see it? Yo, watch it. Pierre, yo, I'll back this up. Yes. Bodyguard. Huh? All about. Pierre Bodyguard. Yeah, this is the house I grew up in. Right here. Humble beginnings. Right? A lot of memories. A lot of activities. A couple beatings, but it's all right. It was worth it. <laughs> uh, yesterday? Yeah, yeah, wow. What is taxi? There were people in what's up there, man. Yeah, we in the country, country. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. See that? Look at that banana tree. Yeah, it's a banana tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here, grocery store thing in Houston. I used to read those days. Oh, just look at that pineapple. Look at that. That's a pineapple. You see that? Mm -hmm. 
careful. Just in that first, let's see how we find out grow, right? That's fine, right? Mm-hmm. It'll see it in the store, that's how it grow. Yeah. Yeah, we are here. Look at this, this is the country. See that? Wow. Yo. Yeah. That's where I grew up, this house I grew up. It's the backyard. See that? Pretty cool. Yeah, it's good. See? What do you have to say about the TV, Justin? Yeah, it's old. Yeah, I haven't seen it before. It's just, I was a baby. No, this wasn't even out when you were a baby. No, I haven't seen this oh. ever since I was born. Twelve. First time here. You gotta be at church like every Sunday, and you gotta be early, right? This is where you used to come to church like every Sunday. And after sun, after Sunday school, then it's ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Huh? No, it's closed. Right? Um, the persons came and come clean it earlier today. Look, you can look through the windows. Come on, come on. Oh. Right. Oh, and this was the first school that your dad attended. <laughs> ah, I remember Yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. You used to go to the school too? No, remember, um, I had, remember I attended um, one of those songs. Oh. Bradford. Okay. But remember I said this was the basic school you, attended, you started out. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but. So this is where know, I went to school, Justin, right here. It's the first, it's first school, actually. It's first school. This is, a, yep, this is your dad's first school. First school, church, first home, everything. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so much history, right? I know you're getting a bit hot, right? Let's go to the river, right? Now it's the upper block, you know? All right. rotten? Block. And it's the upper block, you know what I'm saying? Where are we right? Right. Sweet, please, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. I mm -hmm. Your son, yes, and he's going by the riverside now. Yeah, so I know he will enjoy it out there. Yeah, <laughs> and the background, yeah, oh. of course. Yes, yes mm -hmm. Miss Joy, mm -hmm. long to see you. Yes, right. so next time, mm -hmm. <laughs> you going to Buff Bay? Yes, I'm going to Buff Bay. Come take care of some business. Yeah, man, mm -hmm. all right, all right. Well. Yeah, so right now we're in Charleston, Jamaica, um, right outside of the city of Buff Bay. You know, I'm with the crew. I'm with the Charleston crew. Yeah, man. Yeah. So we're right now we're gonna go to the river. Um, we went to go look at my the house that I grew up in. I got my son with me. We're just in it. Oh, there he is back there. Yeah, man. Thumbs off. Oh yeah, <laughs> thumbs off. <laughs> So he's back there, um, <laughs> chilling with the crew. Yeah. Man. We went to the, the house that I grew up in. We went to, yeah, 
we went to the house I grew up in and went to the church I went to, I went to the school. I went to the, my first school. couple grades mm -hmm. in school. I went to that school, so yeah, it's just an adventure, you know? Hey, right, Justin, yeah. how do how you think, Justin? What do you think so far, or where your dad grew up? Do you think you could survive this, this town? Hmm? Okay. No, all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm worried can survive. <laughs> Nadine. Sorry, I'm with you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you famous. I'm gonna get you out of Charleston. You're gonna see the stars in Los <laughs> Angeles. I'm, you're gonna be discovered. Okay. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Here we go. So, um, you yeah, find the films, yeah? yeah. yeah. Introduce yourself to the people then. Come to One love. Yeah. We are the other. Eh? We represent Charleston and Plum Valley. Charleston and Plum Valley. Asian. The Asian monarchy over here. Yeah. It's not today, it's today. The old school brothers, you know? You know, you know what I'm going on. Yeah. It's all about seeing back each other again. Mm -hmm. And we can't read the one now. You know? Now that big, 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 big. Yeah. Yeah. Glad to see you come back, man. Some yeah, man, man. man come back and then separate. No, me have to come back. Me have to come back. Ah, wrong man. Yeah. Yeah, wrong, you know. yeah man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Come here, this Justin. Come here, this. He got, he got no part after this trip. <laughs> Come. Yes, Justin. Yeah, we are here. Just family, you know? Justin, yeah. I cannot take a seat. Hmm? You cannot take a seat? Yeah. So, yeah, this is my, uh, my little from Little Bit Boy. Grew up with this man, Lando. Way back. Yeah, way back. Started from nothing. But this guy, look at this. He owns this whole store right here. And he has his own water, he has his own ketchup, Scotch bonnet uh, ketchup. Mm. Yeah, he's doing big things. Yeah, not only one store, two stores, three yeah. stores. Yeah. Doing good. Yeah, mm. so respect, man. You're doing big things. I'm yes. proud of you. Yeah, man. Yeah. So if a tourist come, they would serve the meal inside. Yeah. It was um, given to persons who could not talk properly with their stutter to drink from, okay. um, to eat from if they were sick, and still does, does today. Okay. So we serve meal from a calabash or a All right. So how does the maroon like lifestyle came out? Well, it um, came about by um, after the signing of the peace treaty when the slave. Um, were finished with the fight when the Maroon were finished with the fight with the British. Mm -hmm. So they um, signed a treaty and decided to still keep their culture. Now, their culture are originally from Africa, where they were, so they would bring it here to Jamaica to actually 
live so they didn't leave their culture behind they keep it and still maintain it so the culture is something that we still do okay oh nice so now you guys created this museum and every what every week you have a celebration or is it no, yearly or every quarterly year. Every, every year, year. So every year on the 23rd of June, 17, I mean, 23rd of June, where it finds, mm -hmm. we have this treaty, we have this celebration because we honor the treaty okay. today because um, it was signed on the 23rd of June, 1739. So oh, okay. it's really the 23rd of June, we have that COVID celebration. This year we'll be doing it virtually. Oh, nice, because of COVID. Because of COVID. Oh, nice, okay. So every every year was it um, June June twenty third yes. uh, big ce uh, maroon celebration here in Charlestown Jamaica in yeah. Portland right outside of Buff Bay mm -hmm. it's a sight to see but next June it won't be virtual it'll be a lot of people hopefully, here right hopefully yeah. we'll have a lot of people normally we have people uh, filled up inside the Safari Yard space um, from here all the way back to the River Park okay wow well, it's not one day it's so normally it's, normal, it's, normal, it's four days. It was four days of celebration? Yes. Wow. But this year we're just marking two days. So this year would be the 13th annual International Maroon Conference. So I'm gonna have to come back next year when COVID is all over and everybody's vaccine in Jamaica, right? Yes. <laughs> Come with your dancing shoes. My dancing shoes, yes. <laughs> So we are here in the backside of uh, Charleston, uh, where the river is at. The water is very clear, it's very clean, it's warm, it's beautiful out here. Such crystal clear, beautiful landscape. Who can ask for more? it uh thanks for watching um in the meantime uh check out my childhood friend's son salami like gifted he's an up-and-coming artist in uh, portland jamaica he's very talented i don't know why this dude hasn't been like discovered yet and blow blown up um he is extremely talented he does hip-hop he does conscious reggae he does dance hall I mean, you name it, the dude is talented. Salome the Gifted, uh, check out his Instagram. I'm gonna put this Instagram link uh, right here. Uh, dude is really talented, straight out of uh, my hometown, Charlestown, Portland. Peace. <laughs>